What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about socks. Crew socks, over the calf, no show, ankle length, wool, cotton, silk, synthetic, you know, cushion versus no cushion. There are a lot of socks to choose from. How do you know which socks to buy? You know, what are the best length for your socks? Which types of socks do you wear with certain types of shoes? These are the kinds of questions that keep me up at night and I really won't sleep soundly until I make this video. So if you also have questions about socks, you're in the right place. And by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea about which length and which type of socks to wear with any type of shoes and outfit. And then I'll also talk about some of my favorite sock brands. Okay, we first have to talk about sock length because the length of the sock pretty much describes what type of sock it is. There's other stuff that's important like the material and we will cover that, but length is probably one of the most important elements of a sock. So let's talk about sock length starting with the shortest sock. First up we have cloth insoles. Technically these aren't even really socks, but they do create a barrier between your foot and your shoe, so I'm including them in this video. So these aren't like the uh, insoles that you find from like Dr. Scholl's that are meant for like comfort and a better stance. Uh, these are just cotton or other uh, natural fiber usually insoles that you put in your shoe if you're not gonna wear an actual sock. They do have to be washed in between wears just like any other sock. And they're really just meant to prevent, you know, moisture and absorb moisture and then help prevent odor. Some people swear by these cloth inserts. For what it's worth, I personally find no-show socks much more comfortable because these inserts, when I'm walking around, they tend to kind of bunch up as I walk and I haven't found a brand that really works for me. But if you don't like no-show socks, give these liners a shot. So next up we have no-show socks. These are also called low profile socks or invisible socks or loafer socks, but most people just call them no-shows. So unlike ankle socks or crew socks, these are meant to be invisible. Now, some brands do a better job at actually making an invisible no-show sock. And I actually wrote a whole article about the best no-show brands. So I'll put a link to that down in the description if you wanna see some of my personal favorite brands. But these are meant to be worn with like low top sneakers, even boat shoes, moccasins, driving mocks, basically anything where you want that barefoot look, but you don't actually wanna go barefoot. They're perfect for summertime, especially if you're wearing shorts or you know cropped trousers or cuffed chinos, where you have that no break look and you wanna show some ankle. They're perfect for that. I wear no-show socks all summer. I wear them all the time. I love them. I have you know a bunch of different pairs um, in my sock drawer and I just swear by them. So I'm a total convert. If you don't have any, I highly recommend trying them out. That said, I think the sockless look has gone a little too far. You know, I've seen a lot of like GQ photo shoots where it's, it's a model in a full suit and tie and double monks and no socks or like black Oxford with no socks. And I think that's, that's a little crazy. Like if you're dressing up like that or wearing really dressy shoes, I think you should wear socks. I think no show socks are better for more casual looks. So next up, just a little bit taller, we have ankle socks. So these are longer or taller than no-shows, but shorter than crew length socks. They're not meant to be invisible. And ankle socks are usually reserved for like sports. Like a lot of running socks are ankle length socks. They're great for running. I wear uh, Asics uh, ankle length socks when I run. Uh, they're also great for hiking. You know, REI and Smartwool have some really good ankle length hiking socks. Uh, but I wouldn't really wear these outside of, you know, sports or other activities like that. Cause if you're gonna wear like shorts and sneakers, for example, a no-show sock is always gonna look better in my opinion than an ankle length sock. So number four, next up we have the quarter length sock or the short crew. Now, I've seen these called all different names, but basically it's higher than an ankle sock, but shorter than a regular crew length sock. So it's kind of like a half crew or a quarter crew. Most of these are about like six inches tall. They end above the ankle, but below mid calf. I really like this length of sock when I'm hiking. So if I'm wearing like a hiking shoe that uh, it's not like a low top shoe, uh, or if you're wearing any type of high top, uh, this is a good length. Again, I don't think it really looks good if you're wearing like a sneaker and then you're wearing these quarter crew length socks. Um, I think a no-show is better. I know it's kind of trendy right now to wear like a taller sock with your shoes, but I think that's a fad that's gonna die out and it's gonna look a little silly probably in a couple years. But I do love them when I'm hiking. I wear a quarter crew uh, wool sock 
uh, from REI, uh, and that's like my go-to hiking sock. Yeah, pretty much all year round and they're super comfortable and very functional because they kind of support your ankle and then they protect your ankles from like getting scratched on plants or getting bug bites. Okay, next up we have the crew sock and this is like the most popular sock length. When people think about socks, they're probably thinking about crew length socks. So these go up uh, to like mid to upper calf, but they don't go over your calf. Uh, and they come in all different fabrics, all different colors and styles. There are dressy crew socks. There are a lot of casual crew socks. You know, your average crew sock is probably just made out of 100% cotton. The one big drawback with crew socks is if they're not the right size, they're gonna kind of fall down your calf throughout the day. And that's really, really annoying. So I recommend, unless you have like an average foot size, like a men's size 10, I recommend trying to find crew socks that are actually in different sizes. So like I always look for a small, um, or if you have bigger feet, you can look for you know a larger size crew sock. Otherwise, it's probably gonna fall down your calf throughout the day. But this is a great length for socks. You know, if you're like business casual most days or smart casual, whatever, you're just wearing jeans, chinos, crew socks are probably the way to go. And then last but certainly not least, we have over the calf socks. So over the calf socks or OTC socks uh, are dressier than other lengths. So they go all the way up over your calf, just below the knee. And that means that they won't fall down because they kind of hug just above your calf. And so they won't fall down throughout the day. Again, you can find this length of sock in every different material from, you know, really fine wool uh, to just regular cotton. You can find super fancy like silk and cashmere over the calf socks, but in general over the calf are dressier. So like if I'm wearing a suit or like any type of trouser, I'm probably going to be wearing over the calf socks. They're also nice to wear in the winter time if you're wearing boots uh, because they just help to keep your legs a little warmer. Okay, so increasingly these days you have the option with your socks to get a little bit of cushion built in. And some guys love this, some guys don't. You know, for me, if I'm wearing like a, a sock for running or hiking, or if I'm wearing socks with boots, I like a little bit of cushion because it adds a little bit of padding. So like if your shoes are a little too big, like if you have a pair of boots that's like a little bit loose, you can get a sock with heavy cushion, and that's gonna fill up a little bit of that extra space between your foot and the shoe. I really like smart wool uh, cushioned socks. They're so comfortable, especially wearing to wear with boots in the wintertime. Um, but if you have a shoe that's like kind of tight, make sure that you don't buy cushion socks because uh, it's not gonna help. You know, you want a very thin sock that doesn't make your shoe even tighter. So real quick, to make sure this video doesn't get too long, we will run through the types of fabrics used in socks. So first up, most popular, you have cotton. Uh, it's strong, soft, it retains heat, it does stretch easily, so you know it's it's okay. And you know, Pima cotton is can be higher quality and comfortable, but in general, cotton's probably not the most premium material for socks. You can wear cotton socks with casual or dressy outfits. Next up, we have wool. Now, wool is wrinkle resistant, it's stretchy, but it's also durable. It kind of goes back to its original shape and it absorbs moisture and odor. Wool socks are ideal. They're more expensive than cotton, but it's like, it's crazy that wool is a natural fiber because it's, it's just natural properties are incredible. And you know, from fine merino wool uh, dress socks to like thick wool socks for hiking, wool is usually my go-to. Next up, we have bamboo rayon. Now, when you see rayon, it usually means it's bamboo rayon. If you see bamboo socks, those are actually bamboo rayon. So this is a breathable and silky fabric. It's hypoallergenic, it's antimicrobial, and that's all natural, and it's more durable than cotton. Plus, bamboo is one of the fastest growing plants on earth, so using it as a resource is a little bit more sustainable. But yeah, remember that when someone says, you know, these socks are made from bamboo, they're really made from bamboo rayon, so uh, it's, you know, it's not as sexy to say that, you know, rayon is a manufactured fiber from regenerated cellulose fiber, man-made, blah, blah, blah. It's better just to say, oh, these are bamboo socks. So just remember, it's not like a, it's not like they're taking bamboo and just literally making socks out of it. There's, there's some processing going on there. Another popular material is modal. Modal is strong and stable. It's soft like cotton, but more durable. So modal, especially micro modal is very popular now for socks. It's a type of rayon. Um, it's usually derived from beech trees and it's very, very soft. It outperforms cotton in many ways, although it is more expensive. So definitely uh, more of a uh, luxury material, but uh, like micro modal no-show socks are very comfortable. You can find silk socks. Uh, silk is a very strong natural fiber. It's light and elastic, but it is sweat sensitive. So it's not great for the heat. You can also find alpaca wool socks. 
Alpaca wool is even more incredible than regular wool. Uh, it's super lightweight, super soft, naturally water resistant, uh, and it's extremely insulating. So it's gonna be even warmer than regular like sheep wool or lamb's wool. I have one pair of alpaca socks and they are the warmest socks that I have. So if it's like super, super cold and I'm wearing my winter boots, I'll put on these alpaca socks for extra comfort and uh, insulation. You'll also find cashmere socks, speaking of luxurious fabrics. So it's extremely soft, very lightweight, kind of like alpaca, naturally insulating. And um, usually cashmere socks are uh, like premium pricing. You know, it's not for everybody, but um, if you have the money to get a pair, your feet will thank you. And a word of warning, if you ever see a pair of socks made out of 100% polyester, probably a bad idea. Polyester is totally synthetic. Um, one benefit of it is it retains dye. So if you like a bold colored sock, um, polyester will uh, retain that bright color even after many laundry cycles versus something natural like cotton. Um, polyester also dries quickly, but it's not breathable. And polyester as a material is a petroleum-based synthetic material, you know, totally man-made. So it's really not the most sustainable material. Uh, so if, if you care about that sort of thing, you might wanna stay away from polyester. That said, there are a lot of blends like cotton poly blends that are very comfortable and that perform really well. I would just stay away from 100% poly. So we've talked about sock length, we've talked about sock materials. What are the best socks? Now for any occasion, there's gonna be a best sock and it takes a little bit of trial and error to figure out which brands are best for you, but here are some of my favorites. So for hiking, I really like Smart Wool. I like the Smart Wool PHD Outdoor Light Mini Socks. Uh, very comfortable and they last forever, even though they're kind of pricey. Uh, for summertime, like with loafers or sneakers, uh, I like the Falk Invisible Step no-show socks. And then 3048 is a more affordable version of a high quality no-show sock. I also really like Ninja socks. Again, they're more affordable, but they punch way above their weight class for the price. For uh, wearing boots in the wintertime, I like Darn Tough. So Darn Tough uh, hiker boot socks are very, very nice. Uh, again, very pricey, but they'll last you for years. Um, with dress shoes, I like Nordstrom's over-the-calf wool socks. Again, a little bit pricey. If you want to save some money, you can check out Gold Toe Metropolitan 3-packs. They're going to be a little cheaper than those Nordstrom over-the-calf. For running, I like the Asics Quick Light Cushion Single Tab Ankle Socks. They're my go-to for running. And then for those extreme winter days like shoveling snow, I like the Warrior Alpaca Socks. And I will link to all of this stuff down below in the description. So I hope this video helps you figure out uh, which types of socks are the best for any occasion and uh, maybe even some new brands that you can check out. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. You know, if you have a favorite pair of socks, let us know down in the comments. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, thank you as always for watching. And until next time, stay stylish.